Well, bless the Lord. Thanks for joining me here. We are in Luke 1, 34. Mary said to the angel, How will this be since I'm a virgin? How am I going to have a baby? How am I going to have someone um, be born from my womb since the way children are born is that you have a man and a woman coming together? That has not happened. How is this going to be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. You know, the Holy Spirit does miraculous things. The, the Holy Spirit does powerful things. And here he was telling Mary, uh, the angel was telling Mary, the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you. How can this be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. This power, you know, the same way the Holy Spirit was brooding over this um, world, over the, the planet Earth and, and, and uh, creating it and bringing order and all of that making everything that god as, as god spoke he was gonna brood he was gonna brood over mary brood over her body brood over her womb and plant a seed in there the seed of the divine son of god and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born will be called holy the son of god the child to be born will be called holy the son of god the holy spirit and the holy child of God, the Son of God. You see, God is a holy God. He was going to um, come into this world and not by any kind of intimate relations between a man or a woman or even God and Mary. So let's not think about That's not the way this happened. You see, God can just bring this entire universe into being by just speaking it. He can easily come and, and plant himself in the womb of Mary as an embryo. Jesus and come into this world appear to us as the Son of God the Holy Spirit so you know sometimes we wonder how things are going to be done in our lives how shall this be we may ask that question how can this be how will this be we can remember the word of the Lord it says it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord and the Holy Spirit is able to empower us. The Holy Spirit is able to enable us. The Holy Spirit is able to strengthen us. The Holy Spirit is able to lead us and guide us and make um, the things that seem impossible, possible because He is our helper today. So I trust today that we will learn to recognize the working of the Spirit of God. You know, the Holy Spirit has come to us, come to the church on the day of Pentecost. The Spirit of God was outpoured. And he's here with us. So we just have to open up our hearts and our lives to the power of God's precious Holy Spirit. You know, he makes Jesus alive. He makes the word of God real to us. He makes the things of God. He brings the truths of the scriptures to life to us and, and give us enlightenment. So ask the Spirit of God to, as he overshadowed Mary, to come upon you today. He is here and he's here for you. Amen.